today we're going to be taking a look at some of the trap trick support that is coming out in the upcoming structure deck beware of trap tricks now this deck for those of you who don't know comes out in the tcg in february of 2023 it is already being confirmed that we will be getting it as a structure deck they won't be breaking it apart and putting it into other products and to be honest i'm not super surprised by that because trap tricks is a really popular archetype and has actually been on the verge of being competitive on multiple occasions it's definitely something people are going to want to go after so it's smart to release it as a product that they can capitalize on from that perspective so we got a few more leaks tonight plus a few that have already been out i haven't touched on yet makes sense to tackle them all at once so let's jump into the video and take a look at the new cards in the trap tricks structure deck set later this year <laughs> All right, thank you so much for checking out the video. Before we actually start talking about the cards, if you are watching the video and are not subscribed to the channel, please hit the like button and subscribe. Click the bell icon to stay notified. It does only take a minute, and it's super appreciated. I'm grateful to it, and hopefully you guys will be notified when new stuff comes up for giveaways, up-to-date news, and all of that. Now, we've got five cards to talk about today, two of which have been revealed a while back, but I didn't get a chance to cover them, so I'm just going to treat everything as though it's new. But we're going to start things off here with the first card, and that card is... Trap Tricks Pudica. Now, this is one of the new ones. It is a level 4 Earth, and it's a plant effect monster with 900 attack and 1900 defense. It says, when this card is normal summoned, you can add one Trap Tricks Garden from your deck to your hand. If this card is special summoned, you can target one special summon monster your opponent controls, banish it, but during the next standby phase, during... Banish it, but during the next standby phase, your opponent can special summon one of their banished monsters. You can only use each of the above effects of this card once per turn unaffected by the effects of whole normal trap cards so this is definitely pretty good it, i don't know what trap tricks garden does at the time of actually kind of looking at this yet so we're kind of reviewing it as we go um but it's certainly a decent option as a searcher being able to special summon this and remove a problematic monster the opponent controls is definitely not something to scoff at especially because it does have you know some built-in protection and or synergy uh from whole normal traps although i don't know how frequently that would come up nowadays in the metagame still Decent card, nothing super crazy, but it's a nice addition to the deck, and if Trap Tricks Garden is good, and this is a way to search that, then we could be talking about something even more significant. Next up is Trap Tricks Pinguicula. I'm probably butchering these names, and I do very much apologize in advance for that, but you get what you get. So it's a rank 4, 2500 attack, 300 defense, and each two level 4 monsters, and says, while this card has material, it is unaffected by trap effects and by activated effects from any other monster with the same type as any of its materials. You can only use each of the following effects of Trap Tricks Pinguicula once per turn. You can attach one material from this card, add one Trap Trick monster from your deck to your hand. If a monster owned by your opponent is sent to the graveyard or banished by card effect, you can attach one of them to this card as material. So, this is one of the ones that was revealed and is one of the cover cards. It is very good. It is a generic decent card as a whole of course if you're not playing trap tricks you don't get the benefit of the search but the trap protection and being able to block activated effects if basically if an opponent's monster would be sent to the grave you can grab it and attach it to this and that is a hard once per turn but playing against decks that use a lot of the same typing things like fluanderies even the ishizu stuff to an extent uh the ishizu tier elements might have some application where you can disrupt stuff by getting it out of the grave and then attaching it and shutting down other cards this is a card that people are excited about and rightfully so it's both a good rank four option for toolbox decks if those should ever i guess come back into the fold and a really solid option for trap tricks Next up, Trap Tricks Atypus, or Atypus, I'm not really sure how you'd pronounce it. That is an Earth Link monster. It is a Link 3, and it needs two or more monsters, including a plant or insect monster. Its Link Summon card is unaffected by trap effects. Trap Trick monsters you control gain 1,000 attack while you have a normal trap card in your grave. Once per turn, you can target face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of insect and plant monsters you control, negate their effects until the end of the turn. Then, you can banish one normal trap from your graveyard, and if you do, destroy one of those face-up targeted cards. So, immunity to trap effects if it's Link Summon buffs your Trap Trick monsters by 1,000, which is actually not anything to scoff at. That's That makes a lot of them into pretty, pretty significant beaters, or at least, you know, able to compete with stuff or push for game faster. And then targeting face-up cards the opponent controls to uh, negate their effects, and then banishing a normal trap to destroy one of those cards. This does have a bit more application to shut off floodgates, things that might be more problematic. I, the fact that it targets in general is obviously going to be a hindrance on it because there are a lot of things that have some type of protection from targeting or can be responded to. But this is another cool option for the deck and just decent in that buff. I think, you know, we know that attack damage and battle phase doesn't matter nearly as much anymore, you know, in the modern 2022 game. But uh, 
It's not terrible. And comboed with, you know, some other Trap Tricks cards for protection, I think this could be pretty good. Next up, we've got Trap Tricks Garden. This is a field spell. And of course, it's a field spell because every archetype gets one nowadays. And that's basically what ends up putting him over the top. Uh, you can only use the third effect of this card name once per turn. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Trap Tricks monster in addition to your normal summoner set. As long as this card is in the field spell zone, insect and plant monsters you control not be destroyed by battle once per turn. And then you can banish a monster you control, special summon a Trap Tricks monster from your hand or graveyard. So a lot of effects here. The battle protection is nice. It's not really the main focus, but it can certainly come in handy. The additional normal summon is huge. And though the translation doesn't officially say you can only gain this effect once per turn, I'm going to go ahead and assume that that's the case and that this was just a bit of a rough translation from Yu-Gi-Oh! Org or wherever Ready for Duel got it because that would be just busted if you just keep summoning but maybe i'm wrong and if it is the case that you can do it as often as you like then this card is absolutely bonkers but again i don't think that's going to be the case so we'll just have to wait and see on the translation um and then of course banishing a monster you control the special of trap tricks from grave certainly synergizes with the new trap tricks that can remove opponent special summon monsters but in general works with cards like mermelio to pop stuff works with some of the other ones to search and reset traps from the grave so this is a really, really good field spell. Not that I'm shocked by that, but the extra normal summon mechanic allowing you to trigger more of your trap tricks effects and then the revival and the additional bonus of, uh, you know, protection from battle destruction. Looking pretty good. All right, and last but not least, I don't think this is the whole set of reveals, by the way. This is just what we have so far. So if there are more, I'll cover them in a separate video. We've got Alluring Invitation. This is a normal spell, and this card is probably the one that caught my eye the fastest when I saw these reveals. You can only use each effect of this card once per turn. Discard one level for plant or insect monster or one normal trap. Draw two cards. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one of your banished level four plant or insect monsters or a normal trap. Place it on the bottom of the deck. So thank God, first of all, that it is a hard once per turn, but I'm not super shocked by that. This card is nuts. First of all, any plant or insect deck is going to benefit from this. Naturia might benefit from this. Anything that's running any combination of those cards is going to be huge. But think about even decks like Paleo that can benefit from this by discarding your normal trap to draw. This is just additional draw power. What a really good standalone card that's going to help a lot of decks and archetypes. Naturia is the first one that came to mind because that deck has seen a lot of popularity with the Ishizu stuff. Um... But overall, there's plenty of different decks and archetypes out there that can benefit from the draw power just by discarding a card. Giving a Destiny draw to two types and any deck that plays normal traps is not something to scoff at. I do think this is going to be a card people are going to be looking at for multiple different decks. But it is obviously really good for trap tricks. The deck's biggest issue, of course, has been, you know, it can be a bit slow. And this does speed it up a bit and also fulfill some of the conditions that you need to get monsters or traps engraved to use your other cards. So Alluring Invitation is a massive win and just a really really strong card in general following up some other powerful cards we already have for the deck so that's what we got so far i think this card is huge and i'm interested to see what people think as more you know people get a chance to react to these let me know what you guys think in the comments down below do you think the trap tricks deck is going to make a splash do you think it might be a little bit overhyped where do you stand on it how will it compete against tier elements will that even be as much of a problem when this deck comes out which is a while away let me know in the comments down below thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace